Hello friends, welcome back. So now we have database table uh, created, okay, like a products, which is not related to movie library, but I'm just using for the demo purpose only. Okay. So now let's try to use WPDB class because now since it's a custom database table, we don't have any, we cannot use any WordPress functions or WP query uh, class to, you know, to make it or insert the data or update the data or perform the like select query or anything because it's a custom database table and WordPress don't know about it, right? <laughs> Only we or the plugin. Um, so let's let's try to use the let's try to perform the CRUD operation using the WPTP class. Okay. So here I have already uh, created all the functions for the CRUD operation. Okay. And then I will just execute one by one. Okay. So here now we already have uh, this products. Okay. So before that, I forgot one thing about this prefix. Okay, so if you if you see that we have I have used WP underscore products. Okay, so like when you create a custom database table, always use the WordPress uh, prefix table prefix uh, set by the user uh, whoever like set up the site, and that prefix has been set from the table prefix global variable from the config uh, WP config .php file. So if you go here into the WP config .php file. Uh, you can see uh, the table prefix here which is the wp underscore which is the default one and uh, and user can change it to something else okay so and that prefix needs to be used into the database table there are a couple of reasons behind it for example let's say using this table prefix uh, wordpress allows uh, allows to use a single database for multiple uh, wordpress installations um, wordpress site installation right so let's say for example on some of the hosting platform uh, we only have access to or we have only single database right like in the plan or something like i don't know currently but that uh, that uh, that this restriction i have faced earlier so so let's say uh, so in that case if the and uh, a user can install the multiple wordpress site okay with the this prefix like the uh, to differentiate all the tables from the single database uh, using this prefix so i can use wp underscore or the wp1 underscore wp2 underscore any any prefix which is like unique for the each site and wordpress can identify the all the required tables or corresponding tables for the site through this prefix okay so always use the prefix so that if even if like i am i have installed the multiple uh, wordpress sites on the single database okay so in an end if if the plugin or developers are not using the prefix and just creating a common table without a prefix and in that case if user you install this plugin on on all the sites which using the only single database then in that case the same uh, same table will be used throughout the sites like all the sites all the sites okay it's not just related to one site because it's not differentiated through the prefix it's a common now so that could be the problem or like there could be any reasons okay but that's a best practice like have, using the prefix so always use this w uh, prefix property of the wptb class and then your table name okay so that's why it's a wp underscore products okay so um okay so yeah so now uh, in the create product method i have constructed a table name again and then this is the insert uh, method of the wptb class okay so if you go here then you can see the insert uh, inserts a row into the table and these are the some examples okay and then uh, you can see uh, in the first argument we can pass a table name where we want to insert the data then the data in the array format into the column value pairs so as the index uh, is a key where the column name and then value actual column value okay and then the format here we can pass the format to define to uh, to define what uh type of data uh this uh, we are uh, the we are we are passing okay so now we have these three arguments okay um if you go here you can see that array uh, this is the name the product then description and then price okay and here i have passed this format so then format should be into the sequence like it will start from name to price so we have to pass the formats into the sequence of where in which this uh, keys or the data has been added or defined okay so name is always percentages description percentages and then price i have keep it float 
okay so if you are uh, passing it um, uh, like uh, uh, percentage d like digits 10 uh, even if you are passing 50.50 .50, then it will consider only 50 it will remove this 0.50 okay so so this is the way like the the, the insert method will prepare uh, in uh, internally it will call the prepare method prepared sql query and then execute it okay so this way we can have this restrictions and validation type right so what type of data we are passing and what type of dynamic data we are expecting like data type so this using these formats we can uh, we can mention that but also um if the format or uh, is not passed then by default it will consider as a string percentage as okay so that is the default one okay and then uh, behind the scene it will uh, execute insert and replace helper and this method also used for the replace um, statement instead of the insert if you want to use this replace statement okay and then it perform it execute the prepare and then the, using the query method to execute the sql query okay so it will first prepare the data and then uh, go to the execute, uh, execute the query okay so if i just simply now um i will be create a product executing and if i just refresh the page here um then it says one here right because it's like executed uh, output one okay and uh, if you so go here and refresh it now you can see the product one so it's executed uh, two times because um initially the some ajax request has been executed then in that case uh, the function is also executed times because i have executed here without any like on the on the page load itself like in when the file is required so that's why it's created two times okay so um now it's created here and even if like uh, i have passed it as a like individual series uh, allow nulls okay so uh the price and the name should not be null and even if i passed uh, for example null here okay and uh if i execute it again then you can see the column price cannot be null so in that error we can got it from the last error here okay last error so uh because this property wp db class property last error will have will have the error message of the most recent uh, executed query okay and if you want to also to get the insert id then you can simply grab this one and add the insert id here insert id okay so it will grab the insert id of the last okay so if i execute let me just grab it here 40.40 something okay so um and refresh it here you can see the 13 now okay so if i go uh, go to the content you can see the uh, uh, three okay so 13 means this is the like my bit the output is the one and then insert id so that's concatenated and it's displayed uh same uh seven, like at um at same time so that's why it's a 13 but it's a three id okay um uh, my bit for that um okay so now we are getting the insert id as well so there are some properties we will also learn about it okay so now we have this product information inserted multiple times okay so i'm just uh, create uh commenting this now okay so now also let's say we need to fetch the products okay so what are the number of phase so to perform this read operations we have this get results um then the get row and then get where so in the get results we can simply without we can simply pass the select query yeah uh, including the where condition as well if you want to pass the number of results based on the price or any any based on the conditions and if it's if it's returning more than more than one row then in that case use the get results okay and here uh, i have passed object which is the default one and you can pass this uh, our object instead of the array um add a index add a associative then add index then object and then object underscore so these four constants you can pass to get in which format you want to get the output okay and then the query so as a first argument and then it will simply check and then execute the query using the query method okay so um here and then similarly the uh, get row so if you are uh, assuming that if you like you know passing fetching the row single row uh using the add uh, where condition and if you are expecting only one row then you can use the get row even if in the get results this select query if you're using the get row then it will return the only first row of, of that result okay so you can use the get row and similar the arguments and then the get where okay so if you are uh, executing the query but you only like you are only selecting the one 
like one column or anything then in that case you can use get where so you can directly get that uh, value of that column given column and you can also pass the count um, method of the uh, sql query if you want to just re return the counts so here you can use this and if i go here uh, let me also have to uncomment the function okay so i'm returning uh, printing the products then single product and the single product price okay so if i go here so it will return it into the uh, all the results then the single row and then the uh, value of the first uh, price of the first uh, first product right with id one because i have already added one here and here you can see that prepare statement i have used at two places get row and prepare here i want to use it because there are no um uh any where condition custom date uh, value I'm passing. But here I have because in the where condition I'm passing and here in the where condition I'm defining the format as well, which type of format this way, uh, this column will act, uh, getting. Okay, so this way we can also restrict and having some validation in place and the prepare statement accordingly, prepare the SQL query and then it will execute it and then return the data. Okay, and also there are some of the properties. Uh, for example, the num num rows or num rows there are there. So let me just underscore r so db db uh, num rows. Yeah, num rows. So it's it will return the number of rows. So it won't work with this uh, two method. So I'm just uh, commenting these two function because it will return the number of rows from the last most recent queries which is, which has been executed at last okay so um okay so now if i this here you can see the three value here okay so uh so num rows property of the wpdb class will have the number of rows um like from the results from the most recent query okay so yeah um there are multiple properties are there which you can go through from this uh, wpdb class here okay so and you can file you can find this wpdb.php file in under the wp includes folder okay i will go through that file as well after some time okay so now we have um like read the products here okay and uh, create a product now let's talk about updates we want to update the product so now we can use the update method okay so update method uh getting this table name okay where we want to update the data then the data in the array format into column value pairs which similar as the insert method like where we are passing the data and then where condition so where clause so you can pass multiple where clause in the array format okay either single or the multiple items in the same array with the column and then value pairs and then the format uh, array format to uh, for the data and then where format for the format for the where condition where clauses okay like just to identify what type of data we are exp we are passing uh, to the update method okay so here i have simply did table name then add it uh, i'm updating the product id one uh, our data i'm updating the description and the price and then add it here and then the data formats and then array formats okay so percentage is percentage for string and the float value and then percentage d for the id which is like the integer okay so um, and it will automatically convert the data type and everything and then it will simply output the results okay so output it will return a one if based on like if it if it's update multiple rows then number updated number of rows updated count will be passed and there is no updates then it will simply return the zero okay so let me just go here and 40.10 and if i refresh okay let me just uncomment this function okay now if i update it here so you can see the one okay and if i refresh it here then now it says zero because it's not updated okay so if i go to the database and then refresh now it's a 14.1 and then update it so this way you can update the uh update the number of rows or the single row depends on the where clause okay so here you don't have to construct the queries here using this uh, uh, for the to perform the crud operation so wordpress already provide this create insert update uh, methods okay and uh, now last it's the delete delete the product and similarly in the delete method as well you can get a table you have to pass table then the where condition and then where format okay so here i have just passed the table name constructed it then the add like the where clause and then the format of that uh, value which i am passing to where clause okay and then simply 
it will return uh, one uh, if it's uh, uh, if it's uh, done uh, like the record has been deleted and then zero if either record is not exist or or the record haven't deleted uh, successfully okay so now you can see the first id one is gone okay so this way um you can perform the crowd operation using a wptp class and this is very much cleaner and very helpful instead of you know uh, constructing the uh, sql statements and then also have thinking of like making sure that we are uh, we are escaping the values performed escaping validations and everything so wordpress can help us on that too okay so yeah let me just close this one thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress